वेलकम टू कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग प्लेलिस्ट आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू यूनिट स्टेप रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ सेकेंड ऑर्डर सिस्टम विथ अनडेम्ड केस इन दिस वीडियो वेर अवर सिस्टम विल बी सेकेंड ऑर्डर सिस्टम इनपुट विल बी यूनिट स्टेप एंड अनडेम्ड केस मीन्स जीटा इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो मीन्स डैम्पिंग फैक्टर दैट इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो so let me show you first second order system in that here my input is r of s second order system that i have it over here and my output is c of s and standard second order system that is omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square so that is how system is there with us now here the data which is there in this question that is input is unit step input so for unit step input my r of s that is 1 by s right and in time domain i can say r of t that is u of t and that is 1 over time t greater than or equal to 0 and that is 0 over t less than 0 and second data that is undamped right so for undamped case value of zeta that is equals to 0 now i'll give both of this to this system and we will see what will be my output response right so to get output response here i need to have transfer function of the system so transfer function that is ratio of output divided by input and that is equals to this so which is omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square now i can have this c of s as a major term so c of s that is equals to r of s into this system now in this i'll place unit step input so r of s that is 1 by s into this where zeta is equals to 0 so omega n square divided by s square and this term is 0 plus omega n square so that is how c of s is there with us and now we wanted to have this output in terms of time domain right so as if you wanted to have this in terms of time domain you see i'm not going for partial fraction expansion directly we can have this 1 by s minus s divided by s square plus omega n square right and you see how that is happening so if you do cross multiplication then over here it will be s square plus omega n square minus s into s so that will be s square divided by this will be common now s into s plus omega n square now you see this and this will get cancel so this will be omega n square divided by s into s square plus omega n square so that is this only right so we can separate this to have inverse laplace so now if you apply inverse laplace over here so by inverse lap you see now this will be in time domain so 1 by s inverse laplace that is u of t minus you see this inverse laplace that is cos omega n t so cos of omega n t u of t right so that is what our time domain function as output as if input is unit step input now i'll explain you this term in terms of graphical understanding so it will be giving you clear idea what will happen with output right so now let me show you a graphical representation in that if i show you 
this term first which is u of t so u of t that will be this function let me take another color so that gives you bit proper resolution of understanding so this is my u of t right and if i wanted to have this term so for that let me plot over here and then we will add both right now in this i wanted to have minus of cos of omega and t u of t so this function that has minus of cos omega and see cos omega and that will start from maximum one so this is one but minus of cos omega and t so that will start from minus see this is how both of these functions are there now if you add this two then you will be having output c of t right so here now by adding both my output c of now you see at time t is equals to 0 1 minus 1 so that will be 0 and then you see it will start to increase like this and at this instant it will be 1 and plus 1 so that will be 2 so it goes up to maximum see that is how my output is there with unit step response and second order system now in this output if you observe my oscillation frequency that is omega n right so oscillation frequency that we identify based on time period so if i say this is the time period you see this is how we are completing one cycle so let us say this time period is tn so oscillation frequency omega n that is 2 pi f where f is time period so 1 divided by t that we need to do this is tn oscillation frequency that is 2 pi divided by tn which is this time period so as if undamped system is there with us with second order your output that will be happening like this you see so that is what the case which we need to understand and this gives you idea about how system will react to the input right so undamped case that i am showing it over here in next video i'll be considering underdamped case so in underdamped system how output will happen that even we are a little bit to see it in next video i hope that you have understood this video and if you have any query you just place your queries in comments definitely i'll try to get back to you so that i can sort out all those issues which is there with our students and definitely that will be helping our students in future videos even thank you so much